We've all been moved by those incredible stories of World War II or Korean War veterans welcomed home by family after scientists confirmed the identity of their recently discovered remains. It is a long and tedious process, and a Valley City native is one of those analysts who helps bring closure for families all across the country. Her story from WDAY News reporter Kevin Wallavent. After studying forensics and biology at UND, Caitlin Chellen now calls Dover, Delaware, and this impressive lab home. Caitlin is part of a massive team of scientists, anthropologists, analysts who have the honor and responsibility of identifying remains of veterans found anywhere in the world from any conflict. If we can get two extractions from a bone size that's smaller than your thumb, um, that's <laughs> a treat when we can do that. But other places, um, some of the, the USS Oklahoma was a huge project. We've just wrapped up after at least five years of it being in the lab. And those samples worked surprisingly well because they were soaked in oil and like coated all the way through. There's no bacteria in there. The process, which can take weeks, months, and years, all takes place here at the Armed Forces DNA ID Lab in Dover a Department of Defense program that has been incredibly busy because technology keeps changing for the better. Getting DNA from even distant family members now, along with new software and tech, will be a game changer. Since I've been there last eight years, it's the technology has advanced exponentially and there's more information you can get from less amount of sample. It's really incredible. Knowing she and her team are part of helping families close chapters to loved ones' lives, rewarding. So we never see a name or anything until that day that we find a hit against our database. And uh, yeah, it's, you realize all the work is worth it. Kevin Wallivan, WDAY News. And in addition to scientists, those special teams used in identification include dentists, even historians. Such fascinating work they do. You think science is cold in calculating? Oh. Apparently it has a heart, <laughs> doesn't it? Right? Oh, I thought you were going to say, I'm bringing the cold here. <laughs> you are, aren't you? <laughs> yeah.